Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm the CEO of Rebecca Grace Designs and today we're going to be talking about how to connect your Google Analytics account to your Squarespace website. Connecting your Squarespace website to Google Analytics is a really good way to help boost your SEO, your search engine optimization, because you can use these analytics to make decisions for your business. For example, if I'm looking at my um, analytics and I see that most of my users are using a mobile device for my site, then I'm gonna make sure when I'm designing my site and making changes to my site that I'm thinking about the mobile design first. However, if you see that most of the traffic into your site is from a desktop view, then you still want to have a mobile friendly site, but it's maybe not as important as what the design looks like on desktop because most of your viewers are using a desktop anyways, not a mobile device. Um, I also look at what pages are doing well when I'm thinking about what blog post to post next. I'm looking at, well, what is popular? What's a popular topic on my site? That sort of thing. So it gives me a little bit more information than you can see in Squarespace's analytics. So I always recommend to my clients to have a Google Analytics account set up. However, this can be a little tricky because when you first create your um, Google Analytics account, it has you go through and add a property, but it actually has you add a property that gives you a G tracking code rather than a UA tracking code, which is not accepted in side of Squarespace. Um, so that can be a little bit uh, confusing. It's a little bit hidden. So I'm going to walk you through that process now. So the first thing you'll want to do is log in or create a Google Analytics account. If you already have an account, you're going to go down to admin. If not, just follow until it says to create a property. Okay. So you're going to go into admin and you're going to create a property. In here, it says create a Google Analytics for property. If this is all you use, again, you'll be given a different type of tracking number, which won't be able to be saved inside of your Squarespace account. So I'm still gonna go through and name this, and I'm using um, a client right now, creating this for her, and she does. she's a seamstress, and so she's so on and so on is the name of her business. And she is in Canada. And then before you click next, you want to go to show advanced options because you're going to create a universal analytics property. That is what is going to give you the tracking code you need. So in here, again, you're going to put in your domain name and then you can click next. Okay. Tell a little bit more about your business and how you're using Google Analytics and click create. And inside here, it's going to give you a measurement ID. Again, this is the G tracking code that's for your uh, for property. You don't want this code. It's not going to work inside of Squarespace. So you can X out of that. So what you're going to do is go up to the top here and you're going to click on this property. This is the universal property that was created and will have a UA tracking number. So you're going to click on that and then select tracking info. If you don't see tracking info, again, you're still probably on the GA property, the Google Analytics 4 property. Um, so make sure you're changing it to the select the UA property. Go down to tracking code, select tracking code again, and you'll see that your UA number will pop up here. You're going to copy that. You do not need to copy the rest of this. Again, Squarespace has this already inside of their analytics, we can just pop this number and it will do everything else. So you don't need to copy and paste any of this, just the tracking ID. And then in your Squarespace site, you're going to go to settings, advanced, external API keys, and then you can post that UA number right there. Click save. And you're done. Now you will not necessarily see anything pop up here. So if we click on the home page, here you'll see that it's not really showing any, she has one um, viewer, but it, it's gonna take time for all of this to pop up. Um, so don't expect you're gonna connect it, see all this data. It's gonna start tracking from now. Um, so you're not gonna see data from before, um, unless you 
you know, had a previous account or something like that for this domain name. But if this is a new domain name and you've just connected this account, um, you're not going to see a lot of information um, popping up in here. Okay. Um, but it, it, check in a couple days and in a couple days, if you're still not seeing anything, then maybe um, you need to go through and see if you have the right tracking ID, um, but you should see stuff within a couple days. So if you like this tutorial, make sure that you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this on my blog, then be sure to sign up for the freebie in my footer to be notified when another tutorial is posted. Until then, that is how you connect Google Analytics to your Squarespace website.